Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about some common things you'd find working in corporate America. Let's go! Let's go! Hey everyone! My name is Alvin. My name is Suzu. And welcome back to Jacopino World. Today, <laughs> Suzu has compiled some things that you would commonly see working for corporate America. We've been working in corporate world in America for a couple of years. Way too long. A lot longer than me. I'm only working about a year or so. But she's been making Almost more money than me in that year. So, sugar mama. Oh, yeah. Just the money. <laughs> the <number> money. <laughs> As you guys probably know, ever since 20, early 2020, a lot of big companies have shifted from going to the office to walking from home. Thankfully, both of us work at companies that are still remote. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we get to relax at our home for a while, but all good things come to an end. And I think we're gonna have to go back to our offices shortly. <laughs> <laughs> But until the end, we're going to enjoy every single day we have oh. together forever. <laughs> so yeah, the lists are just some things you could expect from working from corporate America, but not a lot of people definitely talk about it, especially for people like in Japan or something. I guess I've never worked at, in the corporate in Japan, so I can't tell the story. But from my knowledge, probably compare a little bit. The first thing is some people simply just not answer your text calls or emails. It happens. Definitely they happens. just disappeared and suddenly showed up with like, hey, what's up? Especially from like working from home, you, you never know where they go. I know it's crazy, everyone. A lot of people got fired because of that. And I've heard so many stories that people just go on YouTube all day, not doing work. And of course the company can track their history from their VPN. As long as you're doing your job and I do my job extremely well, <laughs> I don't think there's a problem if you take more breaks than usual, I guess. Like for me, like my art system has been down a lot recently. So what do you expect me to do? Huh? Go above and beyond when I can't do anything. So, you know, I do some dabbling on the side of YouTube and learning, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So a lot of people probably think that oh, American company, they must have a lot of breaks and finish on the dot. However, that's not necessarily true because there's oftentimes we just don't have time to eat lunch. And then we work until late at night. Some people send messages, emails from like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., sometimes like 3 a.m. in the morning. I was like, what Bruh. the hell are you doing? That person in your company just wants to look like they're doing work. But <laughs> in some occasions, meetings pile up and you do have to take some overtime. Mm -hmm. But in the case of Suzu, she gets paid overtime because she's hourly. But if you're salary, you don't get paid for that overtime, which mm -hmm. sucks. Even if you work on the weekends, answering the email, dealing with clients, you're not gonna get paid just like what it's called the black companies in Japan. So if you ever work in America, make sure you get overtime and a good hourly rate. <laughs> Because if you yes. become salary, they'll expect you to work whatever amount of hours for the same amount of pay, which yeah. is bad. You gotta negotiate the salary that you deserve. Plus, if you find out that you're not gonna get overtime, you make sure you negotiate for extra PTO. I get unlimited, so. Not a lot of company has unlimited PTO, so. <laughs> oh, this one is big on my end. So I work for a tech company, right? Mm -hmm. But we always have tech issues. Yes, all the time. All the time. So we have a thing in my company, whenever we have any tech issues, we're like, oh, Regular tech company day. So I love my company. <laughs> so don't get mad. <laughs> So the next one is kind of related to tech issues, but since we moved to working from situation, uh, all meetings and everything, are you still about to yawn? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Sorry. <laughs> Rude. Go <Come> in. <laughs> I saw Harper sleeping and I'm like, oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I lost track of what I was saying, but yeah, whenever we're in the meetings that you have to present or you have to listen, people always say, can I mute myself? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, my mic is not working. I can't talk. But it always happens. So the biggest thing what our generation is facing is like we're having meetings with all these people that, you know, are higher up in the company, but they don't really know how to work the technology. I think that's a lot of things that frustrate
frustrates us as a generation is that, you know, we're doing a lot of the work and doing it in a better way, but we're not getting paid equally to the work of the people <laughs> above us who are doing the work in a less efficient way. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so there is a good part about working in corporate. Okay, what is it? It was before, of course, pandemic, but a lot of corporate offices, we have free food. Yes. <laughs> I actually gained 15 pounds when I first joined my company. When you started your new job, I was like, can you get this and this and that for me? Because <laughs> it's free. Drink, I don't think I should food, be saying snack. this, but yeah, I would bring home drinks for myself. Yeah. How did you ex experience it in your company? I only went to office like two days. <laughs> Once when I went to the interview and the other one is the first day and the rest of the days I've been working from home. But I saw like free food. There's always like a pantry full of snacks. Oh. Free coffee, of course. Oh man, if you go back to the office, you're gonna get thick. I know. Oof. Okay, so another good thing. Fridays are special. We sometimes have half day Friday. Some company has Friday off on summer. It just, everybody look forward to Friday when you start working. My company has mental health days like one Friday a month and we're all off. So that's good because, you know, our mentals are very fragile as <laughs> you know, is, millennials. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You need to have that break in a month because a full month of working can just like wear you down. Honestly, working from home, there's a good and bad and then the bad thing is like you sometimes forget about your work and life balance so Friday being a half day or at least like we have a hard stop like all the corporates are like that so we not really receive a lot of meetings emails or like crazy things happen on Friday no Friday is usually chill that we can mentally kind of relax instead of task keeps coming no uh, one, one of my clients complained about it and he was very very annoying Friday about it. okay the last thing mm -hmm. that is very common is is as long as you're doing your job correctly, I think you always get a yearly increase. I don't know if that's a like a usual thing in other countries. I know some countries probably pay people like the same thing over and over again, but for my experience, I've mm -hmm. always gotten a yearly increase. How about you? You've been getting increases right out the bat. I don't know. I'm working really, really hard, so I thankfully I'm getting promotions which is like also you can say as yearly increase but i think in japan they have it too yeah, but yearly they increase just like a little by little like no. little by little but they don't increase your positions like like little. you do she gets promoted like crazy because she works hard meanwhile i have to apply for every promotion which is kind of like ugh. But then we don't work at the same corporate, so you can't really compare the company I work for's style and his style is different. True, but oh well. Like you get bonuses, I don't get bonuses. I'd rather get you know increases like you than put bonuses though. <laughs> Grass is always cleaner. Ah uh, no, I'm not going to marketing. <laughs> marketing is great. Not with the stress I see you going through. <laughs> I know I get like white hair so much these days. I uh, was like, I need to dye my hair. But you still love me with I, silver hair. I do. You're my silver baby. <laughs> You're my shining Pokemon. <laughs> what? Who's that Pokemon? It's my name is Susan. I think those are some common things that you could expect from working in America, good mm -hmm. and bad. Mm -hmm. Tell us, you know, if you experience this in your country, comment section down below. Yeah. But as usual, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.